This room is friggin' trash. Look at all this. There's Amiga parts, like, everywhere. Everywhere. Just stuff. Monitors, motherboards, blah. I ain't even got to this side yet. This piled high of stuff in my... Ouch! My new Amiga badge up here on the Heiko or the soldering iron. Where is it? Where are you? Right there. Check it out. 3D printed. Props to Ready Player 2 on Etsy. Makes all of the Amiga branding. 3D printed with magnets. Very good job. It's hard to do 3D printing. Ouch! Triple color because my 3D printer right there, uh, one whole power spec, doesn't do multiple colors. So I props to that dude for that. Anyway, what do we got going on here? Well, there's part of the case. Um, there's a 500 I'm almost standing on. I just finished the 416-220 UF axial caps. I had an issue where P3 here where my where my finger is and P4, P3, P4. Uh, these are these are uh, four amp pico fuses and pin 23 of your disk drive controller here is supposed to have 12 volts I recently purchased and acquired a 1010 floppy there uh, where the hell you see it right there Whoop. right there next to the, the candle skull but right here, and it wouldn't work, the other two belt-driven floppies did. Turns out that that Pico fuse had blown, and the Pico fuses are a whopping $1.99 for, uh, I don't know, there was seven of them. So I bought two packs, because you never know, and, and there they are, they're very, very small. And the whole bag of axial capacitors they were installed and there's my the clone of the FS301 kind of looks like a phaser sucks the solder up into here I used it one time I'm a traditional remover I use braiding so I'm gonna do a quick reassembly of the Amiga I just want to give you an update if you're having floppy disk problems so what I did was, in the original Amiga manual here, it gives you the pinouts of them, but 23 is a plus 12, 12 volt DC power supply. So using a schematic that I found online, I figured uh, pin 23 goes to EMI, or from EMI 320, it's a filter cap, uh, goes to F3, no continuity for me. Goes to C322, it's a 0 0.01 UF ceramic cap near the disk drive port. I wrote all this down. Between the disk drive and the printer port, it's right in the middle there. That had 12 volts, so this provides a 12 volt. Had 12 volt across, F3 only on one side, so I knew F3 and F4, my sloppy writing, are 4 amp Pico fuses. So if you're having some floppy problems, mouse problems, even though your connectors are working, check those fuses. Uh, someone on the uh, Commodore Amiga Facebook group said that you could also replace them with little resistors. That way you don't have to worry about them blowing. But I like the safety net of a fuse just in case it's two solder points and it lasted 27 years. So now all caps are replaced and one fuse. So... We're going to put it back together and see how it works this time.